All praise always go to the Most High God, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai. Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai. Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai. All praise always go to the Most High God. You know, so I just want to talk a little bit about something, you know, because oftentimes we be at camp and a lot of people think that we're Africans, like we are the same people, you know. You know what I'm saying? Popular the contrary belief. You know what I'm saying? We are not Africans. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We are God's chosen people. You know, we're the people that the Most High God delivered out of Egypt. You know, so this is Exodus 11 and 7. It says, but against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast that you Ye may know how that the Lord do put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. So just like how a Chinese man and a Japanese man, they may look alike, but they're two different people. It's the same way with Africans and so-called Negroes. You know, Africans, the ones that sold us into slavery. So when people say, oh, black people sold black people into slavery. Yes, that is correct. But Africans sold Negroes to white people, you know, because I would never sell my own people into slavery, you know, just like Africans. They know we're not the same people. That's why they sold us into slavery. You know, we built up Egypt just like we built up modern day Egypt, America, you know, by um, Babylon. So let's prove it. Um, This is the Bible um dictionary. Ham. It says the youngest son of. Of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of the eight persons to live through the flood, he became the progenitor. We know what progenitor means. It means the father of the dark races, not the Negroes. So Ham is the father of the Africans. You know, he's not the father of the so-called Negroes, you African-Americans. You know, African-American comes from Leo Africanus, an Italian map maker. And um, Amerigo Vespucci, um, if I'm not, if I'm, if I'm, um, one's an Italian map maker, one was a general, you know, um, but that word comes from two white men, so we don't come from two white men, you know, but Ham is the father of the dark races, but not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, you know, that's why the, it says in the, uh, in the scriptures that the Lord put the difference between the Egyptians and Israel. We may look alike, but we're not the same people. It says he became the progenitor, the father of the dark races, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, Africans, Ethiopians, Africans, Libyans, Africans, and Canaanites, Africans. You know, we're not Africans, you know, as much as people keep thinking that we're not Africans. They know it's the difference between us and them, you know. Africans know what they did, you know. So let's keep, let's further prove it, you know. Let's go to Joel chapter 3. I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people. Why is the Lord saying my people? Because guess what? Let's go to Amos chapter three. We'll come back. Amos chapter three and one says, hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. So out of all his creations, the most High God only knows you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, the real Israelites, the real Jews. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So the Most High God is going to punish us for all our sins. You know, so let's go back to Joel. Let's start at verse two again. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them for my people. The Lord is going to bring all them nations down there and bring judgment. How? A missile, you know. And for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. How's that? Deuteronomy 28, 64. Let's get that. Let's prove it. Prove all things. 
book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. And it says, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one in the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Thou, thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone. You know, what is wood? The, cro the cross, you know, and what is stone? Um, with the Muslims, um, the Arabs, what they worship in the Mecca, you know. The Lord said that we were going to do stuff like that, you know, because we obviously don't listen to him. You know what I'm saying? So let's go back to Joel 3. I go on. And it says, in part of my land, because the so-called Ashkenazi Jews, the Jewish and the, um, the Arabs, they're over there. Um, they part of his land. You know, neither one of them is supposed to be in that land. It's, except for the real children of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You're supposed to be over there. You know, and it says, Yay. And what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, and all the coast of Palestine? Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? So we're going to prove that's talking about Africans. You know, I'm going to open up another sword, you know. Matthew 15, verse 21. Then Yahweh Shai went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Zidon. Look. Them, them same names. And behold, a woman of Canaan. Canaan. What is that? Canaan. An African. African. So remember that. Came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered her not a word. So I thought Yahweh Shai was a sweet man, but he looked dead at her and didn't even answer a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread. And to cast it to dogs. He called her a dog straight to her face. Let's see what that woman said. This is where people miss them miss the point. And she said, truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. The only, re I'm going to keep reading and I'm going I'm to explain on that. Then Yahweh Shai answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. This woman only got the blessing is because she admitted that she was a dog, that she was of another nation. That's the reason why the woman got blessed. She didn't get all oh, oh, just because of that. No, nah, she admitted she was a dog. So now that we prove that Tyree and Zidane are African nations, you know, it says, and yea, what have you to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, and all the coast of Palestine? The Most High God's asked the question, what do you have to do with me? Well, you render me a recompense. And if you rec and if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense on upon your own head? How is that happening? They're starving right now. They don't have no water. They don't have no food. You know why? Let's see why. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians. Hold up, hold up. Black people sold black people. No, Africans sold Negroes. Africans sold Negroes to who? To the Grecians. What race is Grecians? The e Edomites. Esau, the white man, that she might remove them far from their border. Because how did black people get to America? By ships, because we were sold from the Africans to the Edomites, the Grecians, whatever identity Esau tries to hide under now. You know what I'm saying? It's a precept in uh, Zechariah. Let me get my sword real quick and look through and find it. You know, touching us. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It's like touching the apple in the most high God's eyes, you know. And we're going to prove that, you know. Let's get that. Um, yep. 
Yep, let's get that. Let's get that. So, oh, this is edifying the brothers and sisters. If you're new and you're on um, just now tuning in, hit that subscribe button. And the answer to the question, we are not Africans. We are not the same people. They sold us to the white man. Let's see. Oh, um, uh, see. Yup, right here. So, like it says, Zechariah 2 and 8. It says, For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the Most High, after the glory have he sent me unto the nations, which spoiled you. For he that toucheth you toucheth the apple of his eye. The Africans are getting what they deserve, and they're going to serve us, Lord willing, when we, Lord willing, we be in that kingdom. Under a black man named Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, you know, and all these other nations too. And if they don't want to bow down to serve, they're going to guess what? Be slayed, you know. But all praise to the Most High God. I hope this is edifying to the whole four leg and the one third scattered amongst the nations. I'm going to say Shalom. Keep enduring all the, way, all the way to the end and keep the faith.